Fan Showdown, season six, episode, I knew I said I would move on to a new season, but I can't figure out a good idea yet, so this is gonna be episode 12, yeah, we're back. And let's just jump into the big boy right out the gate today. This is the Moving Mollusk, and it was created by Andy. Now this one caught my eye because it's a decent looking turbo style fan design, and then you can see it's got the little intake up front, but rather than just having that singular intake, it's got another one on the back. The idea being that rather than just relying on this single small itty bitty hole for all of our airflow needs, why not just add another one on the back since we gotta put an A12X25 back there anyway? And I think that's a pretty darn good idea. In doing this, hopefully you will double the amount of air you have available to suck into your turbocharger and then push into that test bench and hopefully give ourselves some good numbers here. Uh, the clearances are pretty darn good as well. Nothing rubbed, everything was pretty darn Spot on, the assembly was great. This fan actually has to go on second. So you gotta put this blue piece on that screws into the fan frame and then the fan's gotta go in through that because if not, this part of the fan is actually larger than uh, the, the hole provided. That's me how I figured that one out. So if you don't put it in the right order, it doesn't work. And then this simply just locks onto the top of it like so. Now there is a slight problem we might run into and Andy said the same thing. Andy didn't provide any gasket type material or a 3D TPU print to put in between uh, your little mollusk here and the, the fan frame. So there is the chance that we might have some leakage between uh, these two pieces. So I will see how it, we'll see how it performs, but just keep in mind that there might be some room for improvement with a simple gasket, who, who knows? Now keeping in the trend of centrifugal fans, we have Toon and his fan, Pure Theory. Toon says that he's a mechanical engineering student from Belgium, and after taking this past fall, a class called Turbo Mechanics, which sounds pretty darn sweet, he decided to put that newfound skill into a fan design for the channel. The idea here is that Toon's design is gonna use the A12X25 frame, and specifically this little chamfer on the backside. We've seen this try before, um, and he's just gonna essentially draw air in to the center using these internal blades, throw it out to the sides, and then use the fan frame itself to redirect that airflow into the, our little test unit and then hopefully create some good pressure doing so. Now this probably won't do a whole bunch of airflow, but this season that really doesn't matter. We're looking, we're looking for pressure. Now being uh, an engineering student, Toon did a bunch of maths to see if this design was actually gonna work out to his advantage. And he said that he calculated it's probably gonna do around four to five millimeters of H2O, which would be a pretty solid score. So keep an eye on what it, what it finishes as. We'll see if those maths add up. Now the third entry of the day is Mr. Clean 9000 and his fan F1. And I bet a lot of you are gonna like this one. Now, as the name suggests, this is an F1 front wing inspired fan. And if you've seen an F1 front wing or any of the aero packages on F1 cars, you know that they're pretty complicated. Blah, 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 I can't even talk, they're so complicated. Lots of people have actually tried to do F1 inspired fans for this channel. I've seen a lot of them get submitted. Uh, some of them are better than others. The biggest problem I always run into is when you try to print these multiple like airfoils and gates and splitters and whatever, whatever F1 magic's on here. They, they, kind, of, they kind of fail. This one on their hand, pretty, pretty darn good. Now I am not, don't be shocked. I am not an F1 expert, but based on the one photo that I looked at of a front wing on an F1 car, looks like Mr. Clean has himself a main plane, followed by a flap and some turning edges uh, and an end gate or an end thing. I don't know. If you are a big F1 fan and you know all the, the lingo to what all these different pieces and angles and shapes and geometry are on the front wings, take a look at this. Let us know in the comments because, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Looks cool though. I, I know that. I'd be willing to guess it probably is going to perform pretty similar to a standard PC fan, but I'm guaranteeing you if like Noctua and like F1 did a collab and made like a Noctua F1 inspired fan, something that looked like this, but with no normal Noctua brown colors, I bet people would buy the crap out of it because it looks sweet. Even though you'll never see it when it's spinning, you know it's there. Last today we have Raphael and his fan Mustache. Raphael said that there is no rhyme nor reason to this design other than he thought it looked cool. The fan blades are comprised of two mirrored features. So essentially he took uh, a set of blades, he then mirrored it, uh, changed the sweep angle, and Bob Drunkle, that's what you got. Now, if, if, it, if you were asking me what this looks like, it looks like one of those toy, toy, -odal, toy, 
Man, I can never say this. Toroidal. Fan blade designs. You remember the whole paper thing? It, it, it looks like that, except for rather than a, a clean sweep right at the apex, and we just karate chopped it right in half, and that's kind of what we end up here. What I'll be interested to see, or hear, I should say, is what does this sound like? We know that those toroidal uh, blade designs tend to be a, a little better in the acoustic world. I wonder how much that changes when you just give it a nice clean, yeah, right down the apex uh, of your little, your sweep there. So keep an, keep an ear out. In the sound test, the moving mollusk came in around 59 dBA. The pure theory came in around 58. The F1 came in around 55.2. And the mustache came in around 51.2. Now the moving mollusk was uh, pretty loud, mostly due to the fact that this is basically a horn and all the sound created by this little turbine or the two turbines, you should say, uh, was just amplified and you could just, it just sounded like it was echoing throughout the room. But what I found really interesting was what this thing sounded like. The mustache uh, was weird. It had a very pronounced low frequency. It was like, it wasn't one of those frequencies that sound loud. It didn't sound loud. It just sounded like it was everywhere. When I first plugged this in and I was listening uh, and looking at the little scope and seeing that peak, I thought that maybe my air conditioner was vibrating through the walls or something. And I unplugged the fan to actually figure out where this weird sound was coming from. And then I noticed that the sound went away and it was this thing all along, which was weird because the sound felt so large. It was strange to come from just this little tiny fan, but I found that very interesting. Performance testing, the moving mollusk came in at four millimeters of H2O. The F1 came in at 2.8, the mustache, 2.7, and the pure theory came in at 5.1. That math worked. Placing the pure theory in first place, the moving mollusk in second, the F1 in third, and the mustache in fourth, and overall they finished as shown. So congrats to Tune for doing all the maths correctly and getting an estimate that is actually spot on to what I got in my super scientific uh, test bench over here. Uh, very impressive. And if you wanna get in on the action, make sure to check the links in the description below. There's a lot of um, files and stuff for your, for, for, to, for, to, to, words are hard. A lot of files down there to help you design a fan for the fan shout on. Specifically, there's a PDF file that shows you the critical dimensions you need to maintain or you need to hit on your design to make sure your fan fits in the A12X25. And as long as you hit those dimensions, uh, it'll fit and you can do whatever, whatever you, else you wanna. And then send me at least a .stp or a .stl to the fan showdown at gmail.com. And when we get back, we'll look at that thing.